Um, you're right guys, it's Mullycraft or Mitchell. Um, I'm just going to show you how you install the Torch Levers mod uh, for Minecraft. What this does, it adds a new item into the game called the Torch Lever. Um, it functions like a wall lever but looks like a torch and will produce light. Um, you will require Minecraft Forge to install this mod and for it to work effectively and not corrupt anything else. So I'm going to show you how you install Forge and the mod itself and then yeah I'll give a little demonstration at the end so I'm going to show you how to install it with magic launcher firstly um, and then I'll show you the manual installation if you prefer that so I'm just going to click on add and then find and locate forge minecraft universal forge what's it called I think it's that one open it will say four errors but I think it is good okay um, and then we'll add the mod itself. I can't remember what I saved that as. Uh, It'll be called Torch Levers. There you go, Torch Levers mod. Open. Okay, it says it's okay. So if I now press OK down the bottom, press that OK again. Okay, and if I press Login, hopefully this should work. Okay, it's loaded up fine even though it said four errors. And the Minecraft has installed. So if we now go into mods thing, you should see that there's torch levers there. So it has installed it correctly. The second way we're gonna do it is click the start button and type percent app data percent and hit enter. This should now open up your Roman, followed by your Minecraft, followed by your bin. I'm gonna right click the Minecraft executable jar open with WinRAR archiver or your preferred 7-zip or any arch other, other archiving service now I'm going to open up the Minecraft Forge um, control A in here control A or right click select all or just go to the bottom and drag up but there is quite a lot of files in here so I wouldn't suggest that so we just do control A control uh, yeah control A and we'll just drag it across so processing, then you want to hit OK to confirm that you're going to override the files. You want to delete the meta inf in here. OK. OK, we're then going to open up the torch levers one. You should just see a, a folder called torch levers and a .info file called mcmod.info. We're just going to drag both of these over into the dot class section and hit OK. That should have worked. So I'm just going to open up my Minecraft. Uh, okay, that's installed Forge correctly. Right, so if we now go on to single player. Um, right, so for the benefit of the video, I'm going to create a new world. Uh, there we go, and I'm going to make it creative so I can spawn it in. I call it Torch uh, Seed. Okay. Create new world. Uh, so now if I open my inventory up and I search for torch, I've still got Hunger Games installed by the looks of it. Torch, torch lever. There we go, and you get a redstone torch lever as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is. Just going to dig down. Have myself in. Okay. Just hollow this out. Alright. That will do. So if I now put the torch on the wall, and if I right click it, you can see that that also just turns like a lever. So that will power redstone, I guess. And same with the redstone lever. So yeah. Um, if this video is been helpful in any way whatsoever be sure to leave a, a like and a comment um, I do reply to all personal messages so if you have any problems be sure to message me um, my two GoPros have arrived um, I've got a GoPro Hero 2 Motorsport Edition and I have also got a GoPro Motorsport um, GoPro Outdoor Edition the Outdoor Edition was free so I've got two for the price of one so I should be having some videos 
when it gets when the weather gets a bit nicer so I can go flying and stuff a bit more often and you guys can watch the cockpit so I'll talk to you guys in a later video adios amigos